Stone liona wase wengine wanajirusha kwa sewage na wasichomeke. Umesema kuna watu ulikuwa unaona wakichomekea chini. Uliona kama wangapi hivi? Tano hivi. Welcome to Grady Co Properties Africa Limited, the land of plenty. We have prime plots ranging from acres, half acres and 50 by 100 in Malindi, Kisimani and Masinga. Our plots go for as low as 150,000 to 380,000 Kenya shillings. Visit our offices at Thika Gateway Plaza, second floor or call us on 0711 082220. Grady Co Properties Africa Limited delivering value to you. Timu ambao unataka kununua credit tumia hii Paybill 236236 account ni namba yako ya simu au hiyo namba unataka kubaiya credit. Usijali ati una bundle siji nini unaweza kuuliza. Hello guys this is Mr. Alotmo your senior Udaku reporter and of course Alotmo is coming I am coming to you live from Utawala Mtwangu niko hapa kupiga story na one of the victims of uh, the gas explosion pale Embakasi Mtwangu as of now four people have lost their lives Uh, and may their, may their soul rest in peace people have suffered suffered loss a business ya manyumba zao vitu mingi sana na kuna watu pia wanaomboleza mtu wangu let's stand with them uh, during this tempting time na first of all a moment of silence to the people who have lost their lives Yes and with me he's a victim mwenye ame aliona ile kitu kisanga ikifanyika from mwanzo mpaka mwisho na kaumia bahati mbaya kaumia sana na nikaja ni tupige story naye atupe story yake tujue kuli, kuli, kuliendaje akajipata pale na aliumia wapi mtu wangu and of course guys this episode is proudly sponsored by Bed Palace Kenya kumbuka tuko na vitanda vizuri kabisa mtu wangu ukitaka kitanda kizuri all you need to do is to call the number that is on your screen then the team at Bed Palace will sort you guys all you need to do is to just get a design from anywhere ikweni uh, online ikweni pinterest just get a design then send it to us tutakutengenezea kitanda kizuri mambo ikue best in the world. Jamaji kwa hapa ametulia kabisa. Nitakuwa nikipiga story naye tujue mambo iko namna gani kisha tuendelee na kazi. Inakuwaje bro? Popo and kufiti. Kwa vizuri? Kabisa. Mungu anasaidia? Kabisa mwanzi. Eh. Angalia kamera pale. Salimi wa Kenya. I'm going there down. I hope everyone is is good. Yeah, I thank God for the gift of life. Yeah. perfect. Uh, basi let's dive into the conversation. Nikitaka tu angalie mbele tena mara ya mwisho. Tuambie unaitwa nani, unatokea wapi na unafanya nini kwa maisha. Oh, mi mimi ni Alvin Mwendo. Yeah, na I'm also an, an upcoming artist. So some some of my friends wana nijua Carl Brani. Yeah, so yeah, me I'm one person that who, who believes in trying everything. So mimi nime after kupikeka mziki kando I'm also a chef. Yeah. Or chef ndo naeka something on the table. Yeah yeah yeah. Mm. Tupe story basi two days ago kulikuwa na explosion pale three days ago rather. Mm. Uh, kulikuwa na explosion pale mpakasi watu wakafariki watu waka biashara zao zikaharibika manyumba za watu zikachomeka. Tupe story yako mwendwa. Yeah okay me mimi nilikuwa pale actually naishi pale so ilikuwa ilikuwa kitu saa 5 hivi so nilikuwa mimi nilikuwa nchaingia kwa nyumba nilikuwa nchafunga kazi hiyo masaa so nikiwa pale kwa nyumba kulikuwa na game yetu ya ya Manchester United so hiyo hiyo day siji nini niliniambia ni siende coach kwa all so sikwenda all nikaamua ni watch kwa kwa simu so nilikuwa na watch ya apo kwa simu but brother yangu akakaa mko Kenya bro yangu yote alikuwa ametoka job 
Dr. Malingevi akanambia kidogo tu mimi ningea Netflix nitafute movie to watch. Ambia sawa basi mimi watch mimi niki watch game. So hiyo hiyo masaa hata dakika kumi azikuisha tukasikia nyumba imetingika alafu mlango imegongwa sana ni kama niwezi hivi. Sio time kila mtu saa alishtuka tukaeka simu chini kila mtu akajami akachukua alichukua chuma ilikuwa hapo mimi nikachukua kisu konga kuchungulia kwa mlango atu atuko na mtu so tukaamua kufungua kufungua ndo nilipata wase wote kwa ploti wanatremka chini wanatoka so nikakimbia kwa balcony kuangalia nikapata moto inawaka so nikarudi tena nikamwambia hebu tufunge nyumba mimi mimi wanalalaga na short so nilikuwa na short na tisho so tukafunga nyumba si tukatoka ye uzuri alipofika alikuwa ametoa nguo bado so alikuwa bado na troza ye alikuwa kitu yenye alikuwa ametoa tu ni sweater so alikuwa na t-shirt na na nio so tukashuka chini kushuka pale chini brangu naye ni kama alikuwa confused ye akakimbia said kuna moto mimi nikamwambia dio siende huko kuna moto eh rudi bara kusikia zapo chini nilipata wasee hapo bado unajua pia wanawake walikuwa wanapiga nduru sana afu nilipata mama alikuwa hapo amevunjika mguu hizo ana, anasema asaidie bwana yake anachomekea kwa nyumba but mimi sasa unajua niliacha hapo wasee wanamsaidia wasee akamwambia hatuwezi rudi kwa moto kusaidia mtu bado hatujua kwa wapi so wewe tunaweza kupeleka wasee so niliacha wasee wamembeba na mimi nikaenda place wasee walikuwa wanaenda eh ukiwa nyayo hapo kuna uwanja but kuna barabara before wingi kwa uwanja so wase wengi walikuwa hapo kwa barabara nilipofika kwa barabara ndo sasa nikaanza kukumbuka kumbuka marafiki zangu so mimi nikaanza kupigia simu wengine wakaniambia tushatoka so nikiwa hapo kuna mama alikuwa na mtoto kuna mtu wa plot yetu akaniambia nisaidie na ki ya rooftop ni chukue kitu huko so alafu alikuwa ako chini so kanaambia kuja uchukue bibi yangu mimi narudi nikaenda so bibi yake hakuwa na kitu but alikuwa na vitu amejifunika so alikuwa ameshika mtoto ajua ile haraka haraka alafu unajua na wake wengi hawakuwa na manguo but alikuwa na vitu za kufunika hizo sehemu za nyeti so yeah na alikuwa na blanket na yafu ile 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 duvet ilikuwa kubwa sana so age, age jifunika na shike mtoto nikamshikia mtoto na tukasonga huko mbali sasa tulipofika huko nikakumbuka bro wangu tena so nikaona hapo msichana fulani kaambia ashike huo huo mama mto hii so nikawaacha hapo nikarudi tena kuita brother wangu sasa kuja hii saidi alikuwa nilipota hata wasio wameanguka chini wanachomeka sasa hizo hata hiyo time ndo niliona bizi yangu inachomeka mbaya. Wase kama ngapi vile uko nachomeka hiyo time? Hiyo time ndio nilona kawa sawa tano. Eh mzee ameanguka tu chini anachomekea hapo hata juu vile anaweza amka. Hizo unajua sasa bro wangu naye alikuwa ameshtuka jua labu wasaidia naye kwa hapo tu anaangalia tu moto. So nikamshika nikamwambia uwezi saidia watu sasa hii. Wewe sasa hii wewe uko maisha yako. Nikamshika mkono ndo tukatoka hiyo side sasa tukakamii saidi wasee walikuwa wengi. Sasa nikiwa hapo nikiwa hapo sasa tuko hapo ndo nika nikapigia anti yangu sasa nikamwambia huko kuna wakamo kuna wakamo tu akaniambia yeye hako anaamini mara ya kwanza tu unasema nini. So hiyo time tukiongea na yeye ile gasi ikalipuka tena. Ikatumwaga chini si wote tulikuwa around 300 people hapo chini. So moja kidogo. So before ufikiwe ulikuwa umesave bro kasevo mother flani alikuwa na mtoi nini? Yeah. But sasa hata ku hiyo time moto ilikuwa imetuchoma. But acha hata kuwa save. Ni ile zile nilikuwa naombia tukuje huko mbali. Actually hata place tulikuwa tumesimama sisi wote. Moto ilikuwa 200 meters away. But now ilikuwa sasa inachoma nyumba inakuja endelea kuchoma nyumba ikikamp. Yeye ni kama sangapi vilianza sangapi? Ilianza saa 5 na nusu hivi ya usiku. Ya yeah, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. So actually hiyo masaa tulikuwa bado hapo. Saa sita ilikuwa bado sasa inafika. Ya, yeah, saa tuko hapo. Hiyo 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 imelipuka sasa. Imelipuka mara ya pili. Sasa na hiyo brother yangu anaendelea kurekodi. Ah, hiyo hiyo time ilipolipuka unajua tulikuwa tukawa 300 hapo kwa hiyo barabara. 
ili tumwaga yote hiyo pepo hiyo pepo ili tumwaga wote chini so mimi nilisikia hiyo hit singelala chini don leona wase wengine wanajirusha kwa sewage na wasichomeke so mimi nikafanya kuamka nikakimbia hiyo hit ilikuwa ime, imenichoma sana so nika mkani kakimbia hata viatu sijili acha wapi kakimbia so hadi nikafikia place hiyo hit yanifikii sasa nikiwa hapo nilikuwa najua za nilikuwa na job bro wangu amedeadi so nikampigia na pata line busy na pata line busy nikampigia anti to nikamchapia kaambia ebu 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 tafuta ken mimi nikamwambia siezi road place kuna moto but acha ni try kumtafuta so hiyo time nimefika quick mart sasa umejechomeka um, bado nishachomeka but sijajua oh. eh sijui kama nimechomeka kwa nje huko hiyo harakati mimi nilijua sasa baadaye tem sasa nimekaka nikaona huko kumeanza kuvimba hivyo maji eh mguu na papa nilikuwa nasikia tu hit actually hata hii kwa imetoka sasa vile nilingia usindo ilipakopa kwa dawa ndio ikalipuka sasa so hiyo masaa nimekuja na side ya quick mart nilikuwa side ya quick mart hiyo kitu tena nalipuka so kuna kampuni inaitwa Kentena sasa hapo karibu na skyline so we actually nilikuwa hapo nilikuwa naona kama hiyo moto iko hapo mimi nikasonga tena juu vile nilisikia hiyo hit singe karibia tena hapo so at actually unaona hiyo time wase wali walianguka hapo chini sasa ndio nilikuwa nasikia wale kuna wale wa mama marafiki zangu wale ngine ni customers hata walikuwa na watu hii Mse una sikia la kuita alvo umsaidie but hakuna vilonge msaidia so mimi nikaenda sana nilipofika huko naivas karibu na barabara sasa kuja utawala nikasimama hapo sasa ndo nilikuwa napigia pigia wase sasa mawadamu wanambia mtoto wangu amechomeka uso yote mtoto wangu amechomeka uso yote juu huo mama alikuwa amemsaidia mwingine alikuwa na mtoto ameka kwa mgongo mwingine alikuwa anaweza tembea so huyo mmoja alikuwa kwa mgongo alichomeka juu alikuwa amefungiwa hivi na alikuwa hiyo na ndio kitoka alikuwa ame face moto sasa so, unaona hivi vile nimechomeka asa ile moto ingenipata kama nimeangalia hiyo ingeana hiyo ingekuwa ndio chomeka uso but sasa huyo mtoto wake alichomeka uso nasikia ukisema mtoto wangu mtoto wangu ni mtoto wa nani eh <laughs> mtoto wa madhe oh huyo madha ndio huyo madha alikuwa amechomeka na ndio Ya yeah, so nikiwa hapo ndio nikaza saizo andi sasa alikuwa ame alikuwa sasa ameambia anko so anko alikuwa na, anakuja kanambia basi tafuta bro wako ni wachukue hapo 75 atuko pale ndo nikampata kwa sehemu sasa kanambia eh nimechomeka but si sana but nilikuwa pia nilikuwa nimejaribu kukimbia akanambia place yako sasa nikamwambia place anaweza nipata eh sasa nikiwa tukiwa hapo bado nikaendelea kupigia pigia wase kama kofiti so nika nikapigia pia rafiki yangu pia niliona job yake ikichomeka kanambia eh mimi at least nimejiokoa but you na bango anakuwa hapa ya azin bonaki amechomeka vibaya so ya kutoka hapo sasa ndo angoli tukamia ndo akatukimbiza usi. Umesema kuna watu walikuwa naona wakichomekea chini. Uliona kama wangapi hivi? Tano hivi. Eh, sasa walikuwa tano juu unaona lakini hiyo ilikuwa place hiyo gas ilikuwa. Unaona gas ikiwa pale hapo kwa barabara. Kuna mse kuna mse alikuwa amepaka gari hapo. So mse sijui ni kama alishtuka juu alikuwa mambo ato hiyo gari. Kwa hiyo gari kwanza ndio ililipuka ikawashia side nyingine moto. Eh, so alafu sasa kuna wale watu hao kujua wakaingia kwa gari. Zio gari lilipuliwa wakiwa ndani. Yes, yeah, kodi walikuwa wangapi? But hiyo hiyo saa hizo nyumba zilikuwa hapo karibu na hiyo gas. Hao sasa walichomeka jumse alikuwa anatoka na moto. Ni ile ameshindwa kuenda sasa amekuka hapo chini na bado moto inamchomea. Eh, niliona kawa tano alafu unajua niliangalia ina rush. Mimi hata akili yangu ilikuwa ni chukua bro. Yeah. So kwenye ulikuwa naishi kulichomeka kote. Ah, mi hata place naishi ni kwa mbali. <coughs> yaani place naishi ilikuwa mbali kidogo. Ni karibu. I think 100 meter but haikufikia. 
haikufikiwa kile tu ilifikiwa tu ni biashara but job job uh, ulisafa kama losi how much hivi kazi ilikuwa kazi gani nilikuwa na hoteli nilikuwa na no, no hoteli bro like, ni kama tu kef flani hivi mm. ya ukijaribu kuangalia tu hizo vitu zilikuwa ndani zilikuwa zilikuwa around up to k mm. eh jukiangalia hizo meza pia nilikuwa na uoma hapo ndani hizo viti na alafu ni zile vitu za ananio ai eh actually hiyo ndo investment nilikuwa nayo for now hiyo ndo nilikuwa nani nilipia rent actually eh hiyo hiyo ndo busy actually ndo nilikuwa inaniweka hapa Nairobi sasa ya unaona kama sasa hii sasa hizi vile niko hivi unaona bado niko kwa wenyewe ya time nikipona tunajua pia uwezi kaa hivyo hata kama mwenyewe atakubali ukae kwake lakini wewe kama mwenyewe uwezi kaa Nairobi kama una kitu so yes na hiyo nyumba utakaa hivi usikio mambo lipe rent yeah so unajua actually watu wanasema gamali utafutwa but to save life okay god will preserve life yet with thank god but sasa what next you see yeah na Okay, hebu sasa tuonyeshe maybe kwenye uliumia. Niapata shingo. Nisukiangalia shingo yake imechomeka. Mhm. Uh-huh. Then mkono. Hapa ni kidonda iko ndani. Eh ni kidonda iko ndani. Uh, actually sana imeka view. Hapo juu kila siku naenda dressing. Yeah. 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 Eh, ni kuchomeka kwa hiyo. Yeah. Imagine sasa hizi vitu zote wasinilianda nafaa 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 kuingia wasi kila siku 5 sina and chaif but nikiingia pale lazima nilipe registration alafu kufanywa address na kuoshwa hiyo na cost kama dhao so unapata hao sio wanahitaji 1500 kuna fare kwenda na kurudi pia yeah actually na hosi hosi wapi hapa real hospital eh hapo ndo naenda hiyo wanalifanyia usafi usafi na ni dress ya kama una do so kuna dia hata dopesta huko juu sina do sio unapata hiyo do hakuna i don't like when i go account imeisha actually ya so ungependa usaidike aje wewe sasa alvin ya mi mi hata kitu nataka tukusaidie sana ni hiyo job Eh, job mimi nikirudi niko fit. Jumia na job yangu ingekuwa fit. Eh, Singekuwa hapa nikiambia mtu anisaidie. Ya unajua pia kuomba ina kwa gana hivi sana. Ya. But ni vile hiyo ndo kitu nategemea sasa hii. Ya. Hiyo ndo kitu nilikuwa naniweka hapa Nairobi sasa so. Ya, kama sasa hizi before hiyo yape na actually nilikuwa na orders za nilikuwa nimebukiwa kuna bestango kuna harusi alikuwa ameni book ni mpikie kwa harusi yake but sasa tunaona sasa kama sasa hizi sina hizo mavitu kama waoma hizo masani tena ni ya kukomboa actually umesikia ndani kipigia au wapishi wazangu mtu ajaribu kunipigia wewe sababu juu yeah na ulize vile tunaweza pata kwa msemo mwingine hizo vitu yeah sasa hizo vitu zao zilichomeka zote nilikuwa natumbia kufanya outside catering. Yeah, if I number kwa simu ni 07948115858. No, perfect bus wangu na Kenya bus waambie ungependa kusaidiaje. Yeah. Sasa mi se kama kama mnaweza nitaidia nirudishe biz itakuwa fit pia ya na nitashukuru god mwanze kwa hiyo ndo kitu nilikuwa nafanya ya na mafans wangu wa mziki pia ya yeah. i hope fit za kwa fit hata nilikuwa na wakia ona project but tena tumewa close saju ya ya juu ya what happened yeah. Okay sawa sawa pole sana kwa yale kutendekea na we hope utakuwa vizuri uh, zidi tu kwenda hospitali and everything will be okay wanasema 
kila kitu everything happens the reason and you see for you you saved a life maybe maybe yonge oge kimbia pale you never know what could have happened to your brother but you see ako sawa kabisa by the way ako sawa eh yali choma za tu hapo mkono simona hata ameshaingia job eh ako fit okay sawa sawa utakuwa vizuri so guys that is the story of mwendwa amepeana story yake vile alisikia moto na after after moto imeanza fire fighters walikuja after like sanga hivi umesema ilianza saa 5:30 na nusu saa 5:30 na nusu au sasa walichukua hata alawa ndio wafikia pale kwanza hata ni lori moja ilifika haikuzima haikuzima bado so ndo zingine zikakuja tu baadaye but they took time but sasa watu walikuwa wametoka toka juu walikuwa wamesikia hiyo hit ni mbaya eh so watu wengi walichomewa manyumba so mseto alikuwa anaenda place anaweza kwa hiyo moto mfikie na place anaweza ta spend okay. night yeah. so, so, pole sana kaka thank you so much guys for checking mko nikupigia story na mwendwa amepeana story yake hapo uh, i hope kama uko na kitu 10 bob 20 bob 100 thou any amount tumsaidie aweze kurudi kazi na kisha arudi pia tutafuta tutamuita tena kuje arudishe shukrani thank you so much guys for watching mambo ni mengi muda ni mchache for now it is a bye bye i will see you on the next 